So there is uh, nothing more upsetting than a pen pressure that is not working, right? Uh, you've done everything that I showed you in my past uh, videos and still it is not working. Whether the pen pressure button is uh, turned on or turned off, you see no differences in your lines they all look the same even worse you go to the edit brush settings and you move the curve to taper your lines and still nothing is working the good news is that this problem is easy to fix so let's get to it Click on the Windows Start menu, find the Settings button, choose Bluetooth and Devices. In the menu, select Pen and Windows Ink. We will be working in this area. Click on the Windows Start menu icon. In the search bar, type Pen. The Pen and Windows Ink settings will appear right here. Click on the Additional Pen Settings drop-down menu. There are three boxes that I want you to check. Show Visual Effects, Show Cursor, and let me use my pen as a mouse when it's available. This third box is actually the most important of all the three. It is going to play a crucial role. Now leave the next boxes unchecked and close the settings window. We are done here. In Krita, go to Settings. Choose Configure Toolbars. In this uh, Toolbars uh, sub-window, make sure to select the Main Toolbar. Do not select uh, Brushes and Stuff. As you can see, when I click on either of the two options, uh, the content within uh, these uh, sub-windows uh, below uh, changes. This uh, area shows you your current action buttons, uh, that is the ones already present in the Toolbar. This opposite area shows you all the available action buttons that you can add to your toolbar. In the Available Actions filter search bar, I want you to type Pen. When the Use Pen Pressure Action buttons appears, click on it to make it active. We are going to move it to the other side using the right side arrow. Click Apply to have the changes take place. The button is now in your toolbar. Use the up or down arrows to change the position of your button. You can move it wherever you want. Just remember to click Apply to validate the changes you made. When happy with its new placement, just click OK to get out of the window. When you see an X by the pen icon, this means that the button is deactivated. To activate it, just click on it. Click on it again to turn it off. Go to Settings, select Configure Krita. On the left side of the window, you have a dozen tabs. Click on the Tablet Settings. The first thing you will see is the calibration graph. As you know, graphs have two axes. Here, the horizontal or x-axis represent the input levels. The vertical line or the y-axis represents the output. To add a point on the curve, just click anywhere on it and the points will appear. To remove points, using your left mouse button, drag each of them toward the outside of the graph and they will disappear. You can also move the very tip of the curve too. 
you can increase the minimum values right here or decrease the maximum values right there. Now let's adjust the curve in a way that your pen pressure will be at its optimal performance. And to do so, you will need to make your curve concave down, just like mine right here. Now, if you are using any Microsoft computers, such as Microsoft Surface, or if the WinTab option does not agree with your type of tablet, I would like you to click on this button. Now you will need to restart Krita for the changes to take place. Open your Wacom Desktop Center. Now I don't know about you, but there is nothing more annoying than seeing this message. It usually happens when your computer has gone to sleep. You reopen it and then suddenly the tablet is not recognized. So there is a trick to fix this annoying event. Click on the Windows Start menu icon. In the search bar, I want you to type Services. The Services app appears right here. Now click on it. Now scroll down until you find the Wacom Professional Service. Click on it to activate it. On the very top left corner of this window, you will see an option to restart. Uh, click on it. And now your Wacom tablet is back on. Click on Pen Settings. Click on Mapping. Here I want you to check Use Windows Ink. The last thing you need to make sure is that the Krita is checked in the application section of your Wacom tablet. If you do not have the Krita application set up yet, click on the Add button here and then click on the Browse to find the EXE application. The EXE application is what Krita put on your computer when you downloaded the application from the website. Now, when working with your Wacom tablet, do not close both windows, actually minimize them. If you closed the windows, the settings you changed won't take place. At least this has been my experience, but I could be wrong. For those of you who are using another tablet, like a, a UI on a tablet, for example, open the application Desktop Center. Now choose Digital Pen and check Enable Windows Ink. And same thing here, do not close your window, just minimize it. Time to test. First, draw a line with a pen pressure button turned off. Now draw another line with the pen pressure turned on. Earlier I showed you that I could not taper my brush tip, so let's try it now. We are going to work with the size. As you can see, the pen pressure is enabled. Now look at the preview window as I move and change the curve settings. Whatever changes I made, uh, they were taking place. And we are done. Everything has been fixed. I hope this was helpful. I will see you next time. Au revoir et à bientôt.